welcome to a new reaction video. My name is Larissa and um, today I'm going to react to Black Mirror. I recently uploaded Chernobyl and uh, I was really surprised because it got so many views and so many people just loved my reactions and I don't know, it just gave me so much motivation to make more videos. And the thing is, I still have some shows which I want to react to. Um, but American Horror Story recently um, announced that they're going to uh, start a new show called American Horror Stories. And um, that's going to be released in one and a half week. When I upload this, I think it's half a week. Yeah. And after that, the normal American Horror Story is going to continue and The Walking Dead. Uh, so I thought maybe it's not the best idea to start a new show now, like a really long show, because uh, when The Walking Dead and American Horror Story is returning, of course I want to react to that, so then I won't have time for that other show. So I thought I have to like fill up this gap um, between waiting for those shows. Um, and then I realized that when I was doing the poll on my Instagram to uh, ask you guys which show I had to watch, a few people said Black Mirror and then it got a lot of votes. Uh, the thing with Black Mirror is just I've already seen some of it. Uh, so I can't react to everything anymore. So what I did, I just took the highest rated episodes, uh, which I hadn't seen yet, and I go I'm going to react to some of those. This one was actually the one I'm going to react to now, the highest rated of the entire show. And also when I mentioned that I was probably going to react to Black Mirror, my cousin, he immediately said, okay, if you're going to react to Black Mirror, White Christmas, react to White Christmas right away. <laughs> the thing with Black Mirror, it's such a mindfuck <laughs> mostly. So mostly when I, I watch an episode of Black Mor Mirror, I like, I watch like one episode in half a year maybe and then I just have to recover for half a year and then I can watch a new one. Um, but now uh, today I'm going to react to this episode. can recommend other episodes but there are just some that I've already seen and uh, my absolute favorite episode is San Junipero. The episode is so cute and I've, I've seen it like three times already and um, yeah, it will, I think it will stay my favorite. Maybe I just can tell you really quick which ones I saw. So if you want to recommend me other episodes, I've already picked a few, but if a lot of people say one episode, of course, I'll just react to that one. But the ones I've seen are uh, season one, episode three, the entire history of you, uh, season two, episode two, white bear. I recently watched that one that was like, what the hell? Uh, season 3, uh, episode 1, Nosedive, uh, episode 3, Shut Up and Dance, episode 4, San Junipero, and season 4, episode 2, Archangel, and uh, episode 4, Hang the DJ. For now, I'm really going to react to this. I, I talk too much, but mostly when I start a new show, I just have to tell some things about it. What are you doing during Christmas? Christmas. Guess he doesn't like Christmas. It's going to be good for us to have a... A meal. Come on, what has it been? Five years? How many sentences have you said to me? Three? Why are you here? No one ends up here without things going oh shit. I talked to people, made money from it. Well, what were you? Some sort of a Los Angeles drive time DJ. I was not a DJ. How about this? Work. Wait, is this the same person? A shirt with a black tie, with a slim cut gray jacket. Smart. He's the same person. Techniques. The other one, I believe not. Okay. She's cute. Yes. Not out loud. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, so he has like a camera in his <laughs> eye. Romantic services. Yeah, that's Boy, just his past. Too. See, there's this dynamic to uh, Christmas work parties. And I don't stare around like a lamp post. I'll go to the bar. Remember, always move with purpose. That's actually quite handy. I mean, if you're super awkward like me. Not the blonde. The dark haired girl. Hold on, just finding out who they are. What the hell? Did anyone see that guy outside riding a horse? Riding a horse that nice. Oh, that's Natalie <laughs> Tina, right? Or Natalia? From Game of Thrones. Dawson. Dawson, isn't it? You met at Kath's barbecue. Yeah, we met at Kath's barbecue. You had a pork pie hat. You had a poor guy's hat. A pork pie hat. A pork pie hat that you, that you wore on your head. We'll pretend he remembers even though. Right. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. 
Nice. Nice. People want to be noticed. They don't like to be shut out. It makes them feel invisible. But this girl. You actually have to go? Yeah, but it's not easy with you watching. I promise I won't peek. <laughs> what the fuck? That's so weird. There's only me watching. What the fuck? Okay, that's impossible. Then. So actually, he's helping him, but he's helped by like tons of other people. Just talk to her. I really hate when people say kindred spirit, you know, and people that do that. Me too. Talking mm. <laughs> never fucking stops. Okay, she curses. So should you? Shit, fucking! I fucking always tell you think that it's fucking shit. You um. A little too much, maybe. What about it? I've never noticed it before. In five years? Anyway, the point is to stay locked in and long enough. I really so wonder where I this is going. So, how long have you worked for? Max and Frank. Max and Frank. Three years. Oh, wow, so three Christmas parties. This will be my last. Oh, really? Are you leaving? No. I've been planning it. Forever, but you know what it's like. It's the fear of the shock that holds you back. Ultimately, the only thing you're worried about is the transition from one state for just small things he's giving him. He it's, it's knows quite well what to say, actually. Almost word for word. You've always got these ten voices in your head saying don't do it, <laughs> and another ten in your head saying do it. Which one do you listen to? The do it's changing states. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I just don't feel comfortable doing this. What? But it's going so well. I like her. She likes you. Bit of a nightmare having you, you know? All of you eat my head watching us, telling me what to do. A bit of a head fucking. She kind of want you to all go. I want you to come back to mine. I thought about asking you, and the little voice said, do it, so I'm doing it. It's my way of saying thanks. Okay. Yes, yes. Do you watch? What do you think I am? Of course I didn't watch. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. The bedroom is that big. Yeah, okay. I'll meet you there. It's so weird. That guy's just watching. Look, she's too real. This is too real. No, nothing is too real. Yeah. Yeah, maybe stop talking so loud because that's fucking weird. I need you on the bed. Maybe someone is talking to her too. Oh wow, what is that? <laughs> Fuck who? Always saying what to do, half saying one thing, half saying another. I stopped taking the pills they said I should take because they dulled the sound. Always have spoken to me. It was fate. You knew what it was like, and you said, do what did she give him? He's a real pig for such things, real people. He's the leader. <laughs> They're watching us all night. They've been watching. Oh my god, singing. what's happening? Did she bring him there to to kill him and kill herself to just do suicides together? No, what the fuck? What the fuck? She married. Mercy killing, she'd say. So when did you find out about this? What the fuck? I mean, when did you know that this had happened? I don't know, newscast, I think. What the hell? Everything. Okay, everything. Now, go. Poor guy, he just wanted to meet someone. Kid. Jeez, that's terrifying. Claire found out I was involved and she blocked me. Matthew, it's done. Not this time. What? Drives you crazy. Once they hit that button, that's it, you're locked out. A real life block? You can't hear or speak to them, they can't hear or speak to you. Every time you look at them, there's just this. Mm -hmm. Anonymous. I wish I could do that to my ex. Now we're festive. Huh? I don't think this is very festive. It's quite depressing, actually. That's going to wreck my portfolio, just what I needed. Una Chaplin! 
Oh god, no messages. I'll never clear this inbox. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Uh, I, I can't, uh, I can't see. What's that noise? Ew! What can't I see? <laughs> what? No, I'm like, wait, I'm scared of my Oh my god, oh my god, what's that? That's terrifying! She's... Ow! Sorry. Inside there? Hello? Hi. Well, that's what you are. A copy of... A copy of you. Try to blow on my face. You can't. Because you don't have a body. How messed up is this? Where are your fingers? Real you is paying for this. Why would you See, pay for this? Is, is... Put me back in my body! Mm. Well, that's where real you lives. But, one... What the hell? This is your job now. You're in charge of everything here. But what um, do you need that the for? The lighting. Time the alarm clock goes off in the morning. Are you, are you going to stop screaming? Are you going to stop screaming? No? Okay. What the hell? Nothing it is then. Let me show you what that is like. Three weeks sound good? That should give you a taste. There's nothing to do here. There's nothing. There's just I mean, there's nothing. I didn't warn you. I couldn't even sleep. You have six months. No. no. Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck? The trick of it lay in breaking them without letting them snap completely. How are we feeling now? Give me something to do. Just, just, I'll do anything. Just give me something. This is like, so <laughs> messed up. You are all set and ready to go. Seriously though, what what do you need this for? For real? But do the people know that the thing in there is actually a very depressed version of you? She thought she was real. But she wasn't. It's barbaric. Yeah, it is. It wasn't really real, so it wasn't really barbaric. But that's what I'm wondering about. Do these people know how this is done? Most people would say, she's only made a code, she's not real, fuck her. But I watched Westworld. Based on how you've reacted to what I've said, yeah. I can tell you're kind. I know, kind man. I feel like there's something going on with him too. I like this is also some job for him. And that he's helping him with something and... I don't know. Okay, yeah. Because there, there is a reason why he's there. <laughs> <laughs> We're really happy. <laughs> so it's all best doing. Oh. I just found it in the bin. That means pregnant. It's amazing. I mean, it's. She it's just, just drank a bottle of drunk. wine. I can't. God, you'll be an amazing. No, I'm 27. I'm not ready. Well, who's ever ready? It's not. 27 is like quite a normal age. Oh, sure. My mom had me at 27. I don't want it. Unless you don't want it, of course. Well, this at least disgusting. this. No, I've made up my mind. Well, I haven't. I can't just do that. You drank all night. Jesus Christ, you're pregnant. Yeah, well, I don't want to be. Stop, or I'll block you. Don't you dare. No, we can talk tomorrow. Just please stop. <laughs> Run it off. That, uh... I mean, that would actually be a good thing for, like... Really toxic people you never want to see anymore. But in this situation, people are just like abusing this function. Sometimes you just gotta listen to what someone else has to say, and this is like an easy way out, and it's not very good. I'm sorry, I was pissed. Can we just talk about this properly, please? I've said some really awful shit. Bess, I love you. Listen, we can work this out. She is a bitch. You can't just do that. She just didn't come back. And in fact, her block, I couldn't message her, I couldn't call her. When there's a block, you can't even wallow properly. God, that must be so and frustrating. It blocks every image of them. What? So every memory I had of her was vandalized. And then one day, when I was out in town, it was her. She was pregnant. Oh. She kept it. 
why be so difficult I'm about it? But yeah, that, that looks super Day scary. Some passerby called the police and there's a GPS. I mean, if I go within 10 meters of a bag, I get arrested. Jesus. No idea where she is. If, whether she's had the baby or not. Whether it's a boy or a girl. If it's okay. Boy, absolutely no way of getting in touch with her. I write her a letter, it's a begging letter, <laughs> laying it all out, you know, and um, I get no response. Honestly, she's so toxic. So and like, I get that you want to see your kid, and I yeah, think yeah. it's really good that he's trying that, but honestly, that girl no. just. I hope he doesn't still want a relationship with her. I knew that she would definitely be there. Waited there all day. But doesn't he get arrested now? Super messed up. What a bitch. Watching the kids grow up, you know. And for the first time, I could see she was a girl. I had a daughter. That's why he hates Christmas. His first job interview. Bethany Gray. A young mother who been so long since I'd seen her, it was hard to imagine anything but that shadow in her place. Now that the block had died with her, you could see his daughter. Hello, darling. Oh, oh, yeah, I thought something like that. Like, maybe it wasn't his kid, and that was a reason. And uh -huh. that happened. That was literally the only thing I could think of why she did it, so... <sighs> that is so cruel! She was a mess. She, she had to leave everything behind. Yeah, but she could have at least to told him. I, I mean, if she just you have no daughter here. had been honest with him. I mean, okay, break up with him. Tell him you cheated on him. Be over with it. But she basically ruined years of his life now because he kept thinking he had a daughter and he wanted to talk to her, but he just couldn't because she blocked him. That is so messed up. What's he doing? What's going on? Tell me. I just left. I wanted to talk. I couldn't talk. Because if I, if I said it, it would be real. What about the girl? She just, she just stayed in the house. She realized that no one was going to help. And he's dead. And she would have to go and get help. How far did she go? Jesus. So basically he just pretends that is that it's a safe place, but then I confessed. I confessed. He just wants a confession. Woo. I knew I could do it. Boom! I told you I'd get it. Alright, I'm coming out. So What? What? What the fuck? Well done. Two days we pressed him and he said piss all. This bastard cracks him in 70 minutes. When he was first suggested, I tweaked the time preferences. It made it seem like five years from his perspective. Some might say that five years with me is punishment enough. Wait here. This is... Yeah, definitely a Black Mirror episode. <laughs> Mr. Potter, congratulations on your confession. That cookie we took out of your head just gave us the full story. You can keep the silent act up as long as you want. Makes no difference. You've already talked. What? Also, Merry Christmas. Okay, damn. 
deal. Break a confession from him and I go free, right? You're free to go, Mr. Trent, with some caveats. All I did was help some lonely guys by providing a service. An illegal service. You also failed to report a murder. It means you're blocked. By who? By everyone. So no one can see or hear him anymore. Who wouldn't want to live like that? His cookie all the time. Cracks him up to a thousand years a minute as a proper sentence. Leave him off the Christmas. Super messed up. That's what I meant with one episode half a year and then I have to recover from it. Damn. I just don't know what to say. It's like, it's not even that big of a mindfuck like the other episodes. Well, it is. It is though. But I have a feeling like I already kind of saw what was coming. Well, not at the first two stories, but I had a feeling like the, the first two stories, like the one the guy told, um, the one who wanted to get a confession. I had a feeling like... Um, these were kind of to explain the world they were living in, like um, the technology, uh, how things were done. Uh, the first story was to explain, uh, yeah, of course, also his story, what happened to him, because that was actually his backstory, why why everything got fucked up for ha for him. Uh, but also to explain to us uh, that they they could. Like they had cameras through their eyes. Like I said, they don't even have phones anymore. They just use their eyes. They can take pictures with their... They, they can block people. Block people with their eyes. And yeah, then you had the second story about uh, Una Chaplin. Kind of like that in the first story. You had Natalia Tina. And uh, in the second one, you had Una Chaplin. Two Game of Thrones actresses. Eh? And yeah, then the second one, of course, was to explain the thing with the cookies. Like, um, how they did that. And that was really important. Otherwise, she wouldn't have understood the end. Uh, but actually, the full story, I already had a feeling like he was there for a reason. And that that other guy was just doing another job. Because you saw in the first two stories that he'd done jobs like that before. That he'd done... Weird jobs, I mean. <laughs> Weird jobs like looking through other people's eyes and trying to fix them a girl and um, making those cookie things and yeah. So I already kind of had a feeling like that was the reason they were there because he was doing another job and he just had to get something out of that guy. Uh, I didn't expect like what happened in the end. I didn't expect that he killed Bat's father and that he, well, basically killed Bat's daughter. Yeah, I didn't see that coming, but I also kind of did see it coming that uh, it was just not his child and that that was the reason she ran away and blocked him. Which I think is super childish because I felt so bad for him. Like I said dur during the episode, I mean, okay, just tell him you cheated, break up, be done with it, okay, you know? It hurts, but he'll get over it eventually. But now she just, she blocked him. She couldn't see him for years. He thought he had a daughter who was growing up. He watched them. Then in the end, it just appears that it wasn't his daughter. I mean, you could have solved this so much easier, but I think that's also a way of showing us how fucked up this, this future is. Also, I know that um, he screamed at her and he got mad because she wanted an abortion and he didn't want that. And I think that's wrong, of course. But, I mean, they could have at least talked about it. I mean, at that moment, he was pissed. Okay, happens, you know. I'm not saying he was right. But, I mean, sometimes you fight. That's normal. But then for her to immediately block him and never unblock him, that's just... You don't 
do that. I mean, they could have just talked about it the day after. She could have explained that she didn't want this, that she wanted the abortion. Maybe he would have accepted it. Maybe he, they, they just would have talked about it. What I'm saying is I'm not justifying that, that he screamed at her for having an abortion because I do think that's wrong. But I also think that if at that moment he thought that was his kid, that's a decision you, that's a decision you should try to make together. And she should have at least listened to what he had to say. So yeah. I believe we've seen multiple episodes right now where, where people have cameras in their eyes. We also saw the one with the Archangel, I believe, where the mother could see what her daughter saw, I believe. It's a long time ago, I watched that one. Um, and the one where uh, you could like, retrieve memories and j just see them again. So we've seen more Black Mirror episodes that were like that. And um, this is constantly coming back. And every time I see that, I'm just like, I really hope our future is going to look like that. Watching Black Mirror is enough reason to say, okay, we're not going to do that. So um, yeah, all I have to say actually is, yeah, it's a real Black Mirror episode. And this show, it's so smartly done. Like every episode just surprises me again. And um, I think there only has been maybe one episode that was a little less and that I was like, okay, not too exciting. But then the thing with that one is it still keeps in my, it stays in my head. I'm just, I keep thinking about it. And that's kind of the message they want to give, even though while I'm watching, I'm, I'm not like, oh, this is so exciting, but I keep thinking about it. So they kind of accomplish what they wanted to accomplish. So uh, this is the highest rated Black Mirror episode. I think it's really, really good, um, but I don't think it's, it's, that special if you like compare it with the other ones to be honest like i said san junipero is my all-time favorite um shut up and dance is also really good i saw that one twice we watched that in that was actually the first episode i saw because we watched it uh, in class when i was in drama school we watched that in class uh, and that was the first black mirror episode i, I ever saw so i just I'm, I'm not saying this one's bad i think this one is really good and i think it definitely does deserve that 9.1 but yeah i mean a lot of other episodes who are just as good in my opinion so yeah anyway uh if you have like a really good black mirror episode you definitely want me to react to let me know i already kind of made a list to which ones i want to react to first but if a lot of people name one certain episode of course i'll just listen to people and uh, see if i can do that one uh for now this was my reaction to this one let me know what you thought of it uh did you like it please leave a like Subscribe and then uh, yeah, I hope to see you at my American Horror Stories reactions. Bye!